Spritz there. They are the number one ranked team in this doubles event. So the safe money should be on those two. Let for the first serve. Chiobanu, the number three nine four. Rather, number 384, sorry, Lupulescu of Serbia, number 394, Lupulescu in all blue. Giovanni, blue and red. Jacques and Solia in the top half of your screen. Jacques all in black, Solia in black and orange. So, an easy start here for the pairing of Solia and Jacques, leading 4 0. Rather quiet crowd at the moment. They've all gone to take a break now after watching those two early matches between Nina Mitlam and Trosman against the two Russians, Chernova and Gustava. The Russian fans are a little disappoint disappointed. They saw both of their teams, both Russian boys and girls, in the cadets lose just a few moments ago. Ishmailov and Chernov also losing against Danki and David Reitspies. So the Russian hopes of a gold medal were dashed in the cadets. There is no hope of that happening here either because it's all, all French final in the boys juniors. As it will be in the boys singles as well. Leon Giroux against Trist rather. Leon Giroux will be in the cadets. It will be Robino and Frare in the boys juniors later on. Salia making that one look very, very easy, just opening her body up perfectly to place that one into the bottom right hand corner. Nothing Chiobanu or Lupulescu could do. This time Lupulescu as well, the taller of the two players there. Alongside Chiobanu with the error. 9 3 the score. And the backhand from Sola again is perfect. 10 3. Absolutely no chance so far for Chiubanu and Lupulescu. This is a best of five match. So Josh with the error. She beat Brigitte Erland earlier on. A very, very good match that one was as well, winning 4 3. Chiobanu takes the opportunity given to her then. Solia and Josh still in a decent position there. They have four set points at their disposal. And there it is, Lupulescu with the error 11 6. The score in the opening set rather easy for the number one ranked pairing of Josh and Solia. As mentioned, those two will face each other in the final later on in the Guild Junior Tournament. That one at 14.30 local time, 12.30 Central European time. The next game on table one is the Cadet Boys singles between Andrea Landru and Karl Arlander Johansson. That one at 13.50 local time. At the moment on table two it is... Robinot and Gauzy leading against Tristan Flore and Enzo Anglet. And they've won that one 11 6. So the favourites, Gauzy and Robinot, leading in that match. As you may well be able to hear, it is a rather timid atmosphere at the moment majority of the Russian fans have gone now after watching Ishmailov lose in the semi-finals of the cadet boys and then lose in the final of the cadet boys doubles and he was the fan favorite hit and 
Jacques. Wonderful forehand there. Absolutely no reaction from Chiabanu or Lupulescu. fans who are watching here are perhaps split in their loyalties Chiobanu and Josh both Romanian players the atmosphere yesterday as Chiobanu won alongside Montiano was simply phenomenal I was in the bus with the team on the way home as well and they certainly did make a racket enjoying that moment Lucy Montiano in his last junior youth tournament and they really did enjoy that moment Here though, I'm sure the Romanians will be happy. Whichever way this goes, they will have a silver and a gold medal, regardless for Chiabanu and for Shosh. Five, three. Solia, of course, a left-handed player, always difficult to deal with for the normal right-handed players. The angles she's able to get. Oh. This second set's a little closer than the opener 7-6 score. It was 11-6 in the first set for Josh and Solia. Yeah. And that was a good shot from Chiabanu right in between the two players. Oh. I really do think that it the Romanian and Serbian pairing are going to be at their best, are going to have to be at their very, very best in this match. If they're going to even be able to challenge Solia and Josh. At the moment in the second set, they've been able to keep up with the pairing. Also playing the better of the shots as well, but whether it's going to continue, I very much doubt. Have a wonderful backhand flick there from Josh. Waiting for the perfect time. So two set points for the Romanian and German pairing to take a 2-0 lead. And there it is. Lupulescu with the error. So 11-8 it finishes did seem at one point as if the Serbian and the Romanian team were going to be able to really challenge there. They were leading 8-7 at one point, but then four points in a row from Josh and Solia make it 11-8. And so it's 2-0 for the number one ranked team for the favorites for Josh and Solia. The top seeds have pretty much had it easy throughout this tournament and they've been dominant in all of their matches. They beat Fernandez and Bueno of Spain 3-0 in their first match and then the Italians Colantoni and Caracia in the, by the same scoreline in the next match and in the quarters they beat Maria Jao and Matea Jäger 3-2 and earlier on today they made light work 
of Yara Noskova and Claudia Kaczynska winning 3-1 in the semi-final. That one was early on at 10 o'clock today. So they have done what many people expected of them and that is to get to this final. And at the moment they're leading 2-0 and well on course for that gold medal. First blood, the first point does go to Chiabanu. Sam Lupulescu just trying that top spin forehand. Unable to get it over the net as she is unable to get it over the net for the second time running. Timeout has been called by Lipulescu and by Chiabanu. They're trailing 4 1 in this third set. And they have 55 seconds to talk to their coach. It's not going their way at all. They only have one coach, and that is the Romanian one, Lipulescu, with Romanian heritage as well, although she plays for Serbia. The moment can't really see any way back into this game for Lupulescu and Chiabanu. Josh and Solia far too strong. Those two will meet each other later on in the junior girls singles final at 14.30 local time. Solia was able to beat the number one seed Madarats 4-0 as well rather comfortably. And as mentioned earlier, Josh was able to beat Birgitta Erland, the last year's champion. 4-3, so there will be a new champion this year. The big question is, will it be the cadet winner from Istanbul or will it be Patricia Solia? We'll know later on at 14.30, that one on table two. Table one, that final between Quinton Robino and Tristan Flade. 5-1. This time, Shosh far too powerful. Just opening up her body perfectly. On at table two at the minute, it's 5 3 in the third set with Robino and Gorzi leading 2 0 in games. So they are also on course to win the gold. As yet in these doubles funnels, we've yet to really see any excitement, any real drama, much of it going the way many expected. Trosman and Mittelham winning in the Cadet Girls. Wright Speeds and Dan Key winning in the Cadet Boys. Not too many surprises, unfortunately. So three more points needed then for Solia and Josh to take the gold medal. The yeah. next match will be Eight between Londru and Alanda Johansson on table one. Straight after this one, 13.50 the scheduled type. And so seven match points for Josh and Solia it hasn't really been the final we really wanted far too easy for the top seeds, to be honest. And there it is. As many expected, Solia and Josh are the winners. 11-3 in the final set, set, just showing their dominance. They really were the better of the two teams. 11-6, 11-8, 11-3. So congratulations to 
Patricia, Salia and Bernadette Josh, they are the gold medal winners and those two will face each other at 14.30 local time, 12.30 Central European time in the girls' singles as well. Let's try and play for the gold medal then. Commiserations to Chiabano and Lupulescu. In the end, they just were not good enough. There were worlds between these two teams. So the next match on table one is between Andrea Landru and Johansson Alanda.